Exeter welcomed Saracens to Sandy Park at the weekend looking for the win that would preserve their Premiership status, while Saris needed a win to be assured a top four finish. Saracens, who were surprisingly beaten by the Chiefs back in October, got the better start in this one. Two close-range penalties from Alex Goode in the 12th and 16th minute gave them a 6-0 lead. Then, just after the midpoint of the half, Jason Schumach had his attempted clearing kick charged down by Brad Barrett, and the inside centre reacted quickest to send his partner Chris Wiles over for the first try of the match, which was converted to make the score 13-0. Exeter had shown a few promising signs and eventually got on the scoreboard when Jason Schumark opened his Premiership try account for Exeter when he crossed the whitewash five minutes from the break. Steenson missed the conversion, meaning the half-time score was Exeter 5, Saracens 13. Into the second period and Saracens extended their lead with a penalty and a drop goal before they scored their second try of the match. Noah Cato received the ball in his own half before going off on a run that miraculously led to him crossing the line. Exeter will be disappointed with their defensive effort. Alex Goode kicked a great conversion to extend Sarri's lead to 19. Five minutes later, they scored again. A rolling moor was finished off with Rhys Gill emerging with the ball from the bottom of the pile for his first Premiership try. Goode was on target again and suddenly Sarri's had seven minutes to find a bonus point try. But it wasn't to be as the last score went to Exeter, who got a second try at the death through Sorelli Nakalavuki after a sustained period of pressure. Mirez kicked the extras. Saracens then secure a top four finish and keep the pressure on Leicester at the top as it finished at Sandy Park, extra 12, Saracens 33.